Yoga helps you lower blood pressure. Hypertension is a common disease nowadays, which, if it's not treated correctly can cause many damages to the other organs of the body. People who suffer from high blood pressure need to lower blood pressure in order to neutralize the effects of hypertension on their body. Changing the lifestyle and sometimes taking medicines is recommended for the people who need to lower blood pressure. It is very helpful in the treatment of hypertension the yoga lifestyle which can really help you lower blood pressure. Yoga exercises, called asanas, involve stretching and moving the body into various positions. During these exercises any tightness or tension observed in the body should be consciously relaxed. Yoga practice offers stress management techniques which are essential to lower blood pressure. There are many yoga asanas, maybe hundreds or even thousands, but only certain asanas can help you lower blood pressure. The most efficient for lowering blood pressure are the forward bends, which have a pacifying effect on the brain, the nervous system, the blood circulation to the brain, and they also help you reduce the stress. All these lower blood pressure. Furthermore, these asanas slow down the pulse rate, so they lower blood pressure. They are also helpful to lower blood pressure the sitting asanas, such as Upavi Stakonasana which remove the tension from the ribs and the intercostal muscles, and also help you breathe easily. Many hypertensive have difficulties in breathing and these asanas help them in this matter and they also lower blood pressure. Other helpful asanas are the supine poses, like Supta Baddhakanasana which relax the abdominal region and have a calming effect on the nerves, facts that lower blood pressure. There are also recommended for those who need to lower blood pressure, the inversions, such as Halasana and Sita Bandha Sarvangasana, which have a refreshing effect on the nerves and reduce the sympathetic tone very fast. Usual practice of these asanas regularizes blood pressure, so lower blood pressure when it's abnormally high. At these previous asanas you can add the pranayama and the svanasana, which relax the mind and senses, and stabilize the blood pressure, so lower blood pressure in case of hypertension. Yoga for the Beginner One of the amazing things about yoga is that despite the great benefits that it produces, it requires no costs. There is not specific yoga training equipment that one has to use in order to obtain the desired results and there is no such thing as the perfect environment required for practicing yoga. All this is a direct consequence of the fact that yoga is, more than a practice, a state of mind and a lifestyle. That is why your will, as well as your beliefs and attitudes towards this philosophical path are all that actually matter. Moreover, a balanced and healthy diet, based on natural food, is a key issue for preparing yourself for your first yoga session. What we eat can strongly affect both our mind and our soul, so it is crucial to mind what we eat. 
Even though you do not need a specially designed place for performing your yoga class, make sure, when electing the room where you will be holding the class, to choose a place as far away from distractions such as radio, street noise, TV as possible. The place also needs to be clean and quiet and, if possible, ventilated. A blanket is the accessory that you absolutely need in order to gain comfort when carrying out the exercises and the meditation, as they are performed in either sitting or lying positions, but, however, a towel or a mat, could work, as well. In what concerns the clothes you are supposed to wear, try to select something very comfortable and loose, such as training suits, sweatpants, and a t-shirt, shorts or loose pajamas. Some people would rather wear no clothes at all, but, nevertheless, most practitioners put something on, especially if the yoga session is not private. It is also highly recommended to have an empty stomach, before starting your yoga exercises. As a general rule, one or two hours after a main meal is the ideal time for practicing yoga. As breathing is a key element in yoga training, do not forget to also clean your nostrils and your throat. In case you have not decided which could represent the best moment of the day for carrying out your yoga session, you have to know that both morning and evening practices can result very beneficial to your body and mind. Thus. Performing the exercises in the morning can contribute to your good shape for the whole day, as it improves your vitality level. On the other hand, evening yoga practices helps inducing a restful and peaceful sleep. Your yoga session should not exhaust you. Do not hesitate to take a break when you feel tired. Actually, short breaks are common, between difficult exercises. Keep in mind that as little as 15 minutes of correct yoga practice can produce marvelous results on your body and mind. As a final idea, try to remember that the most important thing when practicing yoga, is your attitude and your desire to discover the incredible sensations and experiences this ancient philosophy can provide. <laughs>